Women from all around the world have gathered for the United Nations Women Conference to discuss the challenges of gender equality and women empowerment. Joining us from the Congress in New York is Sanna. Uh, Sanna, could you tell us what are, what are the most important things you've come across today? So we're here at the Commission on the Status of Women, and that's actually the most important intergovernmental body of the UN that deals with uh, gender equality and empowerment of women and girls. So these are the issues that we are discussing once a year with um, representatives of uh, member states, UN bodies, and lots of uh, representatives from civil society. So specifically what we're talking about this year, because it's the 59th session already, is um, 12 critical areas that were defined 20 years ago and that member states agreed on to implement. And those issues are um, very, it's a very wide range. Uh, like you, you were talking about violence against women, but we're also talking about women in uh, uh, decision-making positions, uh, women in conflict areas. So it's a wide range. There's a lot of issues to be discussed in these two weeks. And what should change according to the women at the event? Um, well, we see a lot of change, but we also see there's uh, a lot of uh, things that still need to be done. And uh, the end document that was already adopted uh, a few days ago at the beginning of, uh, of the commission uh, of this session um, deals with uh, or emphasizes the, the transformation um, of discriminatory practices. Um, so it's the gender stereotypes that we face in the media, like what is a real man supposed to look like, what is a real man supposed to do, um, how is a real woman supposed to behave. And if we challenge these stereotypes, we challenge an existing uh, power structure that we all are, that we all are victims of. Um, so this is very important that it, this is recognized uh, by all the member states. We, we also heard that there are a lot of young girls there. Yeah, because it's um, uh, kind of an anniversary, because it's 20 years ago since uh, we adopted this, this broad agenda of, of 12 critical areas, there are a huge amount of civil society representatives, almost up to 10,000, and lots of them are uh, youngsters, uh, they're youth uh, spokespersons, youth advocates, and um, they speak out, they're, they have a voice, um, in uh, the, the general pro or the, or the official program, but also in the side events that are going on. But um, what we are fighting for right now, uh, in, in the few days to come that the, the session will still last, is to keep that voice, that space open for youth and uh, for civil society in general. Um, this is a very important event for everyone because it, it affects everyone worldwide. Um, so civil society and especially youth should be able to give their voice and share their experiences. Thanks so much for joining us, Sanna. If you want to know more on this topic, go to interconnection.com.